Welcome to paradise. Population dwindling. Random lawsuits notwithstanding, Postal 2 has nothing to do with the fine folks who bring us our mail. Once again, you play an average guy with a shovel, going about your daily errands. It is entirely possible to get through the whole game without firing a single shot, but boy, is it hard. But thank you for your unclean visit. Now get out and come again, please. This game has one purpose, to piss you off. Look out. Paradise itself is a maze of alleys and tunnels with enough loading screens to try anyone's patience. And then there's the Muzak. Can we just turn that off now? Okay, that's a little better. Now, I'm gonna be good and just get these errands done. Gotta pick up my paycheck. I'll just ignore the annoying protesters and go in. Hey there, can I get my check? Nothing personal, man, but you're fired. Okay, that's just fine. Come on, everyone, follow me. You can't do that to my neighborhood! Hey, don't shoot me! I don't even work here anymore! Okay, now to the bank to cash my check. La 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 la, just calmly standing in line, not thinking about killing anyone. What now? Okay, not gonna get involved. Don't wanna tick off the Australians again. Now, off to the mall to get my hero Gary Coleman's autograph. Hey, out of my way! Okay, that was a lapse. I'm gonna be good from now on, I swear. La 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 la, another line. This is the police! Send out the former child actor. We have a warrant for his arrest. Okay, that tears it. You mess with Gary Coleman, you mess with me. Thus begins your descent into depravity. What the heck? Let's turn that music back up. Be warned, the game doesn't get any easier once you get in touch with your inner mass murderer. There's a cop on just about every street corner, and the local populace is surprisingly well-armed. But this is so much better than standing in line. And hey, when you run out of bullets, you can rely on your trusty shovel. Woohoo, look at that head fly! And if someone has really earned your ire, you can unzip your pants and on their now the flowers will grow. But you know, as satisfying as all this may be for the first 15 minutes, after that, Postal 2 gets old quick. We'll give it props for self-referential humor and sheer over-the-top violence. But if you've seen one headless corpse, you've seen them all. We give Postal 2 a 3 out of 5. God, what's that awful stench?